Dear Yoda, hey babe, sending you love in this turbulent time. I'm writing to remind you not to be hard on yourself right now. Look outside, appreciate the sun, take in the blessings and the new beginnings that spring offers. This is a blessing in disguise. You have been operating from a place of lack and anxiety for a while. Now you have the time to check back in with yourself. Take time with yourself and do all you can do to reconnect with the day-to-day -day things that make you happy. You have the time to right now. It's a gift, take it. Start to explore those childhood pleasures that you have neglected. Remember the days when nothing mattered and your concern was if you should watch that last episode of Samurai Jack that was airing way past your bedtime. Nurture that version of yourself. It's their time to shine. Read some manga. Rewatch Dora Hidora for the 15th time. It's fine. Get in the garden and sow some seeds. Experiment in the kitchen. Cook yourself some five-star meals. You deserve it. Well, anyway, love you, babe. Love, Yoda. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah! This is an ode for the space between God and I. I've heard of many call it purgatory, call it universe, call it endless. This is an ode for all things which are endless. Like my love for SpongeBob, like my mother's hugs, like we wish a bottle of rum was every night out. This is an ode for the night and how she is blamed for all the demons and ghouls that haunt this earth. Yet all I've ever known her to be responsible for is the poetry that fleets out of the shadows and ends up on pages. This is an ode to my shadow. Oh, how I don't think I'm worthy of even following on a good day. Thank you for not giving up on me. Meaning, this is an ode for those of us that are surviving, that know how to make Michelin star cuisine out of corned beef, rice and eggs. Who know how to conserve body heat when the radiators are broken. This is an ode to those who are not surviving. Who have not. Meaning, this is an ode to my black folk. To all the trans girls dying. Oh, how your blood is the most profound yet silent war cry. Thank you. For breathing, even though this air can seem so fickle in our lungs. By Tanaka Foygo. Okay, let's start this again. You're allowed to, I promise. Years of being unfaithful to yourself, disloyalty, mistrust. But here we are now, together as one, finally. What a journey this has been. No longer a burden. You were never a burden. Teeth never too spaced out, breasts never too low, stomach never too wide, inner thighs never too dark. Sink into this hug a little longer, whisper sweet everything. Step onto that pedestal, glory, soar in it. Queer. Black love. <laughs> <laughs>